planting tomatoes today. We prepared our steaks. My husband Tim is getting the, the holes prepared. He put compost. We have the piles of compost at the end of the, the rows here. And then we just put them in where we're planting. And um, he put a little bit of plant tone in there as well and mixed it up. This is a San Marzano tomato. Oh, little toad. Little tiny toad. Just a baby. Just a baby. So you want to bury them pretty far up on the stem. Because it'll grow roots all the way up the stem. The tomatoes have this kind of it looks like a hairy stem and all those little hairs can if they're planted will become roots off of the plant and make it a stronger plant so we have I think we have 18 holes or areas prepared down here and I think I'm going to put a couple more on the end here there is, um, I want to get a couple of each kind, and it looks like I'll be giving away a lot because I have a, hundreds of plants <laughs> still, so my parents, neighbors, whoever wants some plants that have some Amish down the road that I promise some to. So we, as you can see, we have compost in the plant tone, and we'll mix that in. Then as these grow, we'll stake them up the stakes that my husband cut for me. And I used to try to, you know, cram as many tomato plants in to an area as I could. But that doesn't work out so good. Tomatoes like a lot of area. You need to give them at least 18 to 24 inches between each plant. And they also like a lot of air. So if you can prune them back as they grow and keep the leaves off the ground, they're less resistant to disease and they are a hardier plant. So we're going to plant along here. And try to get as many as we can the other kind earlier I was talking about the tomatoes I forgot I had um, a kind called gladiator which is a real big kind of like a paste tomato so I'm interested in seeing what those look like as well because I've never grown those before you can see it's giving them a good generous amount of water I did plant up some tomatoes in pots. I planted uh, my Patriot Rose that my husband bought me. I planted that outside of my greenhouse here. It's kind of a pinky red, maybe orange color. And uh, lots more to plant for sure. But I'll show you a couple of the other plants that I did. I took some cherry tomatoes, a San Marzano, and I can't remember what the other one was that I put planted. I planted three. I got a hosta and a hookra that I have to get planted as well. Emmy's going to show you. 
That's a cherry tomato. Oh, actually, this is a gladiator, I remember. Gladiator tomato and Reuben basil and green basil. That's a San Marzano and basil. These are my mini petunias. Coming along pretty good. And this one up here is a cherry tomato with basil. And I took, <laughs> it doesn't look the greatest, but I took some sticks from our woods and cut them with our clippers or loppers. I planted the cherry tomato in the middle and then again planted the basil around. And then I'll trellis that up as it grows. And I'll show you as we plant the other tomatoes. That's uh, my husband's new dune buggy that he got. It's a California Custom. This petunia is doing pretty good. This is the one I wasn't sure got a little bit of frost. We also had to, my dad makes these carpenter bees traps. We had to put some up because we're starting to see some carpenter bees, so we don't want them to eat our house. There's my other petunia. And I also picked some uh, dahl dahlias this morning. But those are pretty. They're getting a little bleached out from the sun. Okay. In just a little bit, I'll show you our tomatoes that we plant.